This video will teach you how to jump wire. To begin with, what tools and materials do we need? We need a good soldering iron tip first. Most commonly used are pointed tips or angled tips. Then we need an unbreakable, good toughness, non-magnetic, low welding resistance wire. Of course, you can also choose desoldering wick as the short bridge jumping wire. The so-called jumping wire is to connect two points in mainboard with wires, which is a common technique of phone repair. Today we will show you three most commonly used jumping wire skills. Short bridge jump wire. This is common in connect fuse inductances. For example, inductance in this row is deteriorated. It can be replaced by short bridge jump wire. Let's show you now. Jump wire finished. Short bridge jump wire. We need to pay attention that wires cannot touch each other, and solder joints should be stable. This type of FL fuse inductance, which is often false soldered or corroded, causing various types of failures, can also be repaired with short bridge jump wire. In addition, some current limiting resistors which usually less than 100 ohms. Can also be replaced by jump wire when they are false soldered or corroded. So how to practice short bridge jump wire at free time? We can tear down an interface. Short bridge bonding pad pins on both sides of interface to practice jump wire. Remove interface, clean baseboard and bonding pad, then we can try jumping wire. Wire jumping finished and clean it up. It is very important that wires cannot touch each other. Solder joints should be smooth instead of sharp. Here are a few examples of jumping wire used in phone repair. This iPhone 6 rear camera cannot be turned on. It is mostly caused by power supply diode 2301. The only thing to do is borrow 3 volts power from this. Inductance to replace U2301 output voltage by wire jumping. That fixed iPhone 6 fingerprint failure is often caused by power supply diode U2100. We need to borrow 1.8 volt from this inductance to replace U2100 output voltage by wire jumping. That fixed. The wire we are jumping now is to borrow power to replace iPhone 6s rear camera power supply diode U2300. That belongs to the second type, long bridge wire jumping. For long bridge wire jumping, Pay attention both wire ends of solder joints, should be as short as possible. Keep solder mask covers the middle section of the wire. Avoid short circuit caused by touching other components. iPhone 6 SP rear camera power supple diode U2300 is often damaged, making camera unable to turn on. Just jump wire to connect two points. 
wire jumping finished. Solder joints of both wire ends should not be exposed too much and keep middle of wire insulated. Another simple example, iPhone 7 rear camera failure caused by power supply dot U2501. Just short bridge jumping wire here. U2501 and U3001 are power supply diodes for iPhone 7 Plus rear camera. It will cause camera unusable when damaged. How to borrow power? Actually, just one wire. Can solve the problem of borrowing power for two diodes. Let me introduce one more common fault of wire jumping iPhone XS Max power supply diode U2900, damage will cause original screen touch failure, but aftermarket screen still works. Such failure can still be solved by wire jumping. C. Just short circuit two joints like this, it is repaired. The third type is pins wire jumping. For example, two bonding pads on iPhone 6 are missing. We need to jump wire from original circuit next to it. Let do it now, scape out joints, with a blade first, then solder, jumping wire. For pins wire jumping, solder joints cannot be too thick, wire ends cannot be too long as well. Another typical pins wire jumping example is iPhone 7 7's plus hands free turned on automatically when make calling. Meanwhile lose microphone and speaker as well. Generally, these two wires need wire jumping. Well, there are more wire jumping failure problems, such as iPhone series weak Wi-Fi signals, weak GPS signals and so on. If you are interested in it, please leave a message. See you next time.